He has my trade prepared as a self key. He sounds good. But never touch the stuff as well. Yeah, me neither. Ha ha, yes, it's all for the money, yes, the money takes my mind off my troubles and eat so crushing loneliness. Yes, the more money I make, the bigger my mansion gets, the more lost I feel. <laughs> but I think this house is so big, I sometimes don't even know where or who I am. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad your nephews here were able to pay a visit. Yes, yeah. Yes, what a, what a pleasure it is, that symphony. A perfect pleasure, a perfect pleasure, man, a perfect gift. Yes, 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 Oh, my Thank you, Heather. Um, Beatrice, why are you pretending I'm the sky catcher? I mean, Mommy. You're scamming him? I think he more like flat out stealing you from him. What? No way. Why not? We already stole a horse. Hey, guys. No, we didn't. Fred's a talking horse. He can do whatever he wants. I want to steal. <gasps> what? You guys are bonkers. If we're going to Adelaide, we need two cents. Uh-huh. Will you guys do what you... Two cents? Only two cents? Yeah, we need two pennies to take the ferry to Adelaide's pasture. <laughs> Come, everyone! Let us retire to the parlor and enjoy my unnecessary excess of wealth and luxury. <laughs> well, maybe he just has some loose change somewhere he wouldn't mind us taking. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 Behold that you the majesty of wealth. Oh, what was that? Uh, What's wrong with you, Endicott? Your forehead is all sweaty. But my nerves. My, 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 my nerves. My nerves are a bust these days. How come? <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, maybe it would be good to, to talk to someone. Well, <clears throat> it actually, it all began one day when I was exploring my exceedingly large and labyrinthine manor here. I happened upon a section of the house I didn't even recall building. <laughs> That's funny. Must have been the old ring. But it was lit in a sort of eerie, eerie light, and I pressed on, and then I, I saw the painting of the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, and that's when things took a rather strange turn. <laughs> That day on, I was obsessed with the woman in the portrait. She's con- consumed by every thought. I'd fallen in love. <laughs> with a ghost. It's too bad to get a crap. Oh, I'm a sound crazy, mustn't I? Perhaps it's time for you all to leave my treasure-filled home. No. no. Yeah, I did. I see the ghost. Oh, how I long to see her just once again as well. Yes. Yeah. See the baby. Yes. Yes. Fred, go with them. I need some time. While I'm at it, I'll steal other stuff, too. We're supposed to just be looking for loose change. That's what I'm... That's what I'm doing. Well, let's try not to break any more... Oh, Oh, hey! Hey, you didn't check the armoire. Oh, the cut's back. Hi! Is that the portrait? No. Is that the portrait? No. Look, why, why, why don't I, I just tell you when we reach the portrait? Okay. What's the matter, Uncle? You seem tense. You know me well, nephew. Yes, the truth is, I'm frightened. Of a ghost? Ghosts are just floaty things. No, 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 I'm not afraid of a ghost. I mean, I'm not afraid what, 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 if there is no ghost, what if I'm on the, on the, on the, on the, on the brink of the madness? Maybe the doctors were right. Come on, boys, back to the parlor. The parlor? Why would anyone go to the parlor for? There's nobody in the parlor. Certainly nobody after your money. Yeah, you're giving up now, old man. It's gotta be a ghost. But how, how can you be so certain? Because I really, really want to see a ghost. Really bad. Oh. Whew. Okay, I think they're gone. Beta, you there? Ah, oh, yes, smart guy. Start searching for change. Uh, I can't see anything in here. Well, I don't think he's coached that pocket. Check the lining. Maybe somebody sold money into the fabric. No. Do people even do that? Well, I've done it on my clothes. You wear clothes? Like a little bird nest or something? <laughs> or little bows? I was a human fool. Did you used to be human? Did I know that? I, I don't think I knew that. You didn't cook it. Let's just find some coins, all right? Open the door. It's stuck. Well, guess we have to spend some quality time together. Help! The greenhouse. This is where I grow my camellia for testing new teas. Uh, perhaps we should savor the, the quiet tranquility of this, this place. This one, one of my prize winning faces, Peacock. Yes, with all this love in my brain, I forgot to feed it almost as though I'd lost my mind. What after we find our ghost? Heave ho! Yes, yes, heave ho! Seems to be abyss. Never to return. Um, anyone want to go back to the palmer? Hey, 
Are you still there? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm still here. So, but how did you become a bluebird? Hmm. Hey, what's that? Don't change the subject. Hmm. There's a breeze coming out of here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. What? A secret entrance. So, about your dark secret. Hey, how about you tell me your dark secrets instead, huh? My secrets are too secret. Hey, look, light. Whoa, now he's avoiding the question. You. Fine. I threw a rock at a bluebird and it cursed me and my family and now we're all bluebirds. Happy? Now you go. Whoa. Your whole family? Yeah. Is that why you're going to Adelaide? To fix them? That was the plan. But, uh, yeah, that was the plan. It'll all work out. All I know is I am never going back so I can make them human again. I'd do pretty much anything. <sighs> all right. My turn, huh? Okay. Well, it's weird to admit it, but, well, I I have this crush on this girl. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all? And I think about her a lot, and I play clarinet. What? you got to be kidding me. And I secretly whisper poetry to myself in my room at night. What? That stuff's not weird. Those are just... Well, the poetry thing is weird. But those are just character traits. You play clarinet? Sort of. What else do you do? I don't know. Hey, does this room look different to you? Uh, how so? It's like French Rococo style. That doesn't really seem in line with Endicott's Georgian sensibilities. How? What? What else am I talking to you right now? Should I not know that sort of stuff? Endicott probably just built it without thinking, right? Oh, whoa. Yeah. What if the ghost you were talking about was actually... <laughs> this is the room, uh, the room where I first saw her. Whoa! Just a bedroom. Just. A bedroom, my nephew, this is the chamber of my own true love, and here she stands, hovering above us like a blinding sun. No ghost? No ghost? Then I am mad. Don't be mad. Hey, what's this suspicious mess over here? It looks like there was a struggle, a violent struggle. What? What are you implying, my equine friend? Nothing, nothing. I'm just... And the is a crazy lunatic who did away with the lady of the house and is now pretending to own the place. What? Who do you think you are? Making statues there. I see it now. You're after my money. Do you know what I did for this money? Do you know the things these filthy hands have done to make this money? I'll never steal again, I swear. I'll get an honest job. And what say you, nephew? Uh, I'm confused. Well, then... No! <laughs> Oh, Mr. Endicott, are you all right? Ghost. What do you want with me, spirit? Spirit, but you're the ghost. My lady, I assure you I am flesh and blood, and I, I welcome you to my home. Your home? Good sir, you're in my home. Impossible. Look here, you see? This is my camellia garden for my tea company. Marguerite Gray? Why, with all due respect, madam, this is my tea garden. Quincy Endicott. Your guys' mansions are so huge, they're actually connected. So you, you mean that beautiful ghost was really just... That Daphne, that there was really just... My business competitor? Well, Greg, my boy, I can't thank you enough for helping me to face my fears. You're a, you're a sweet boy with good sense. Take this penny and start your fortune. And here's one from me as well. Oh, nice. Now we can ride the ferry. Well, everybody, I think it's time we head to Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. Uh, what about you, Fred? Are you coming with us? No, thanks. I've got a real job now as an official tea horse. Well, then I guess that's it. Off you go, the lot of you. Goodbye. 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 And don't forget to buy in the cut brand tea. Hey, what? You did get back there. Yeah? You got a lot more coins for you than I thought. Huh? Frank, a penny. Why did you do that? Because Uncle Endicott told me all wrong. He's got no sense. No sense at all. Oh.